Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to share my experience from digital to software developer in just one month in TCS. Believe me, guys, this video is going to be very amazing video. Basically, in today's video, I'm going to focus on various topics, and the topic is especially consists of after ILP. In between ILP, what happens? I've shared my ILP experience already. You can check it out in the I button. So. After LP, how I got software developer role, how I got a better project, development project, and what are the other option other candidate got? I'm going to share about all things in detail and how you can get development project, how you can avoid support project. I'm going to talk about the inside thing about that. So without any further delay, let's get started. Uh, after ILP, RMG department call us all the twenty, all the two hundred members joined in a TCS Mumbai, and they have started the allocation of units to different uh, members, different candidates. There are various type of units. You have heard that this unit is bad, that unit is good. It is not like that. A unit cannot be a good or bad. A project of that unit can be a good or bad. So it's totally not depends upon like which unit you are getting. Try to get a good project on a same unit. It is not like I have got that unit. I have to change the unit. It is not like that. After the unit allocation, everyone got call from different project, and the caller person is always going to be a team lead of that project. He is going to take uh, your interview. You cannot think of like. who is going to take my interview he is a great uh, technical person it is not like that uh, it is just he is just a team lead he is going to take your interview he has just a basic knowledge of that project and basic knowledge of aspect so you don't have to hesitate about that you can give answer confidently so what happens is in my case i got first project call from a development before going into my case i am going to take example of other cases some of my friend or some of candidate who is from my batch got a call from different different team lead different different project but their interviews not goes up to the mark so what happens is they have rejected on that and uh, after getting 9 to 10 calls on 10th attempt some of them got some of them allocated to project on fifth attempt some of them allocated to project so how many attempts you are going to take are basically the case over here if you are going to take one or two attempts it is totally fine you will going to get development project if you are going to take more than four five uh project calls then you are not going to get a development project you are going to get a support project so you have to get ready for the project call you have to get ready for the basic answer they are not going to ask you a fancy question in a project call they are going to ask a basic question you just have to give answer confidently so that they can trust you they can take you in their team so what happens is my case i got a first project call he have asked various question to me including java oops concept and what are the technology they are going to use on that project i have already no knowledge about that so he has asked some a question on that also he have asked some question on my final year project so i have answered each and every questions confidently and after that i have allocated to the to that project on very next day so at that time i don't know i am going to be a software developer my role is going to be a software developer but after allocation uh, after 2 to 3 days uh, after each and every process happens like we have to uh, sign something for that project in that project i saw that there is a software developer role so as i am going to like work like a software developer i am kind of happy at that time but i am kind of think like that in a service based company it's like happens is you got that role but you are doing 
just basic stuffs like that but when i got the project when i started working on the project then i realized that i actually got a got a project where i have to develop where i have to uh, where i have to develop both front end back end middlewares and all and this is all about our software developer where i have where i am building some some software so that is kind of a great thing for me where i had as a digital candidate and got a role of software developer in just first attempt in just one month so this is basically a great motivation for me to work on that project and believe me guys that project is quite amazing and uh, many of uh, candidate also got a development project where someone is a java developer someone is a back end developer someone is a c++ developer but only few of the members got a software developer role so you have to try hard you have to learn the basic stuffs like what i have told is that you have to get most out of your ilp session you have to perform well in your ilp sessions and all for that is also a factor of that so you can't ignore your ilp i have already talked about my ilp experience video so yeah that is about my project allocation and that is how i got a software developer role if you are also planning to join tcs and if your dream company is tcs and you have already joined tcs this year and your ilp session is going on you can keep this point in your mind and you will definitely get a good project and a good role so getting software developer role is a minimal thing but it will going to happen with you if you utilize your ilp duration if you utilize your skills for a project call so yeah that's all for this video guys if you have any query regarding this video and regarding other topics you can definitely comment in the comment section i'm always there to answer your comment so yeah i am wrapping this video over here signing off